sport. If that landing had been on snow, it probably would have resulted in a few broken bones. The acrobats wear ordinary snow skis and boots, and for safety's sake, a skateboard helmet, a water ski vest, and a wetsuit. Without the water ski vest, probably the weight of the skis would drag the skier underwater. They call it water ramping, and this is the third largest ski ramp of its kind in the United States. The chute is 60 feet high, and the skiers soar up to 30 feet above the water. That's three stories high. These young men from 16 to 22 years old are among the best freestyle skiers in the world. Olympic contenders all. They come out here and start with comparatively simple stunts, such as a simple tuck, and then a double tuck, and a lay tuck. After a skier can do this one, a double layout. He learns to do a twist and then combine the tucks and twists in various ways. is more difficult than the last one, but summer practice makes winter perfect. When the snow falls, the very best of them may be able to do something like this, a triple back flip. At least if they miss, they've learned to land on their feet. It all happens so fast, you can hardly see it. Let's see that one again. It, Gary Gessler, a preview of the spectacular new Winter Olympic sport of aerial ski acrobatics because you asked for it.